The history of Chernobyl, before and after the accident. Stories about Chernobyl sound scary, as do stories about Pripyat, and the word itself has become something of a household name. The City of Chernobyl The history of the city of Chernobyl begins in 1193, it was named because of Wormwood, in ancient times it was called Chernobyl. The city is located on the Pripyat River, it has not always been on the territory of Ukraine. In 1548, the city was part of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania and was the county seat. Despite its importance, the urban settlement was used to house Jews. In 1793, the city of Chernobyl became part of the Russian Empire, at that time the population was about 10,000 people, while 70% of them were Jews. Pogroms have repeatedly occurred in the city, the victims of which were Jews, and during the First World War the city was occupied. The Red Army troops tried to occupy the city several times, but it took several attempts to complete the task. After the last pogrom, the number of the Jewish community decreased significantly, many left the city voluntarily, because their lives and their property were constantly becoming the object of aggression. In 1921, the city of Chernobyl became part of the Ukrainian SSR. The remaining representatives were completely destroyed during the occupation by Nazi Germany, many of them were destroyed in their own homes, the rest were sent to concentration camps. The city was liberated in 1943. The history of the city of Chernobyl has several legends. The first is related to its foundation. When Kiev and Rus decided to settle in this region, it was discovered that the territories were occupied by other people. The people prayed to their gods, and refused to accept orthodoxy, then Kiev and Rus decided to forcibly displace the people from this territory. The people did not lead to large-scale bloodshed and left the territory, but cursed it before leaving. The curse was the impossibility of living on these lands, there are no us, there is no one. In general, history has confirmed this more than once. The second legend lies in the tales of Vanga, allegedly she predicted the fall of the Wormwood Star, whether anyone understood these words then is not known, but now they are clearer than ever. Some are interested in the stories of eyewitnesses of Chernobyl, but these are the stories of people who suffered from a ridiculous case and most of them it destroyed or took their lives. The same applies to the memories of the Chernobyl liquidators, they are filled with pain and understanding about what happened even years later. You can read a lot about Chernobyl, as well as talk about it. This story will definitely not be forgotten by those whom it touched personally or his family. Chernobyl before the accident. The town itself was a district destination and was no different from others during the USSR, except that there was a nuclear power plant in it, or rather 10 kilometers from it. The population was about 13,000, now there are several thousand and then mainly from among the service personnel. Everything was according to the standard of the Soviet Union, colleges, schools, the Palace of Culture, medical institutions, four libraries, a hotel, about 10 kindergartens, etc. Everything is like everywhere else, it makes no sense to describe a standard district village, people walked, led their own way of life and how many lived, dreamed and hoped. Before the accident, Chernobyl was quite a thriving town, in addition, the average age was 25 years, and that says something. The construction and future work at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant was supposed to attract more people, up to 80,000, and it would have attracted thanks to the communist system. This would allow the city to open up to the fullest. The history of the city of Pripyat On February 4, 1970, the construction of the city of Pripyat began. Its construction was due to the need to accommodate the workers of the future NPP and the builders involved in its construction. The city received the status of an Atomograd and was a partially closed facility. The construction of the city from scratch made it possible to take into account some of the disadvantages of urban facilities and use modern techniques and materials. The city was placed taking into account the windrows, had wide streets and a harmonious distribution of infrastructure. The engineers who developed the urban settlement project tried a radial construction scheme on it. It consisted in the radius arrangement of residential quarters, in relation to the central object. The project was designed to support 80,000 people, at the time of evacuation the population was 47,000 people. Several administrative and public facilities were located in the city center. City Administration Building Cinema Prometheus Palace of Culture Energetic Hotel Pulsi. By 1988 it was planned to finish the construction of another cinema, two shopping centers, two palaces of pioneers, a hotel, two sports complexes, several schools and gardens. 
In addition to a unique engineering project for its time, Pripyat had a unique architectural plan. It was in this city that it was first used. The architectural plan had a name, Triangular Building. Its principle was to combine buildings of different stories. Multi-story buildings were located on the edges of the triangle, and low-rise buildings were located in the center. This position of residential buildings allowed not to load space, but to evenly distribute objects. Subsequently, similar architectural plans were used in other cities of the country. Pripyat was an exemplary city. Developed infrastructure, good food supply and decent payment. Many specialists of the atomic profile sought to get into the city. The Ferris wheel of the city of Pripyat. The hallmark of any city was an amusement park, a growing and developing city, it was decided to provide such an object. It was supposed to be the event of the year and everyone was looking forward to the opening of the park. The amusement park consisted of small carousels of various variations, and its most important object was a huge Ferris wheel. The yellow painted booths were supposed to bring joy to all residents of the city. The opening of the amusement park was planned on May 1, 1986. Chernobyl, like Pripyat, would have remained famous towns only within the Soviet Union until a planetary-scale accident occurred. We are more interested in the history of the Chernobyl disaster. For the first time a nuclear power plant was built there in 1970 and already in 1986, on April 26, a well-known disaster occurred. The History of the Chernobyl Nuclear Power Plant Explosion On April 25, 1986, a planned shutdown of the fourth reactor was carried out. During the shutdown, it was planned to conduct experiments on it to test the emergency power supply system. The experiment began on April 26 at 1.23 and 4 seconds, pump revolutions were reduced and a positive coefficient of steam reactivity was observed. In the presence of these two conditions, the reactor has the potential to generate more power, but no increase in power was observed throughout the experiment. However, at 1.23 and 38 seconds the operator pressed the emergency protection button. The reactor began to gain its power, and already at 1.23 and 42 seconds the recording systems were disabled. At 1.23 and 50 seconds, a series of explosions occurred, and the reactor was completely destroyed, a fire started. Following the emergency protection signal, two fire brigades moved to the station, one of them was sent from the city of Pripyat. Upon arrival at the scene of the accident, the firefighters were divided into two teams. The first team was engaged in extinguishing the fire, by 4 o'clock it was possible to stabilize the ignition and exclude the transition of the flame to the third reactor. By 6 o'clock the fire was completely extinguished. The second part of the team was engaged in clearing access to the measuring device, which had a high accuracy and was necessary for carrying out measuring work on the contamination that occurred. Until the moment of the measurement work, it was believed that the reactor had survived. However, upon completion of the fire extinguishing work, the fact of its complete destruction was established. Initially, a report on the stabilization of the situation after the Chernobyl accident was sent to Moscow, but the data obtained from measuring instruments indicated a large level of radioactive substances released into the atmosphere. At 2300 hours it was decided to evacuate the population from an area of 30 kilometers. 81 settlements were subject to evacuation. The evacuation was carried out on April 27, 1986, 1,200 buses and more than 100 units of high-pass paramilitary equipment were involved in the evacuation of the city of Pripyat. By 12 o'clock on April 27, the necessary amount of transport was collected near the city of Chernobyl. At night, the administration of the city of Pripyat conducted a limited briefing of administrative staff, a conversation was held with the staff of hospitals, schools, kindergartens. All public places were disinfected as much as possible until morning. Household soap and additional water tanks were placed in all toilets of the city. The processing of the premises had to be repeated every hour. In the morning, all schools were opened, all children were necessarily measured with a radiation device, the medical staff issued tablets containing iodine. Two hours later, the students were sent home. A general briefing has begun in the city. At 12.20 the briefing was held in the city police department. The city was divided into six sectors. A responsible person was assigned to each, two police officers were assigned to each entrance of a residential building. At 12.30, police officers arrived at their places and began instructing residents. At 1400 hours, the placement of residents on buses began. By 16.30 the city was evacuated. At 1800 hours, 
police officers made a second round of the apartments to make sure that there were no residents. After the evacuation of the civilian population, the city of Pripyat was used to house the headquarters of the Commission for the Elimination of the Accident. Chernobyl After the Accident After the Chernobyl disaster, everything changed radically. Now the city of Pripyat, which is the capital of Chernobyl, resembles an action scene from the movie Apocalypse, empty abandoned houses, former dairy and grocery stores are tightly boarded up, an overgrown forest, known as the Red Forest, a patrol of the Ministry of Internal Affairs of Ukraine passes by, which controls the order. People abandoned everything and were evacuated in an emergency, although later they were allowed to return for three days in order to pack their things. Mutants and zombies are running through the forests, well, at least that's what they say. Although in fact Chernobyl now represents a large number of wild animals, exuberant flora and the presence of large catfish living in the channel. In modern cinema, the whole wasteland of the city and settlements was well revealed by the TV series Chernobyl. Exclusion Zone. In it, you can see the consequences of leaving your home quickly. In it, young people, who were born after the collapse of the USSR, can also see the remnants of the school, that is, how everything was under communism. Scary Stories About Chernobyl The most terrible story will be the mutation of any organism. This is more based on computer games, however, the birth of children with genetic abnormalities took place. The saddest thing is that these deviations have had a very detrimental effect on their appearance and lifespan. In the vastness of the internet, we found several major stories that cause concern. 1. Comparing the Chernobyl accident with the bombing of Hiroshima gave reason to think that a nuclear explosion occurred at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Everyone remembers the image of a nuclear mushroom hanging over an attack city. True, there was no nuclear explosion at the nuclear power plant, and no nuclear mushroom hung over Chernobyl and its environs. Most scientists have come to the conclusion that the explosion occurred due to the detonation of an air-hydrogen mixture of very high strength. There was an explosion, but it has nothing to do with nuclear. 2. The government is accused of trying to hide from the public all the danger and scale of the disaster. However, it is not realistic to quickly and fully assess the scale of the accident immediately after the explosion. A more accurate picture of the radiation background became known only by the middle of the next day. Within a day, 100,000 people were evacuated. The evacuation was calm, without panic and casualties. Initially, the situation in the city and the consequences of the accident were clearly defined, and only then measures began to save the residents of the city in order to avoid panic and unnecessary gossip. 3. Various sources cite a huge number of victims who died from the consequences of the accident. These figures range from 100-300,000 people. Truth, two people were killed during the explosion. 28 people died from radiation in 1986, and 29 people in the period from 1987 to 2005. Of course, the release of radiation has caused serious harm to the health of many people, and especially children. But the figures of several hundred dead are clearly exaggerated and not confirmed by anything. 4. Probably, the main myth of Chernobyl is its mutants. There are many photos of giant fruits, animals with five paws and two heads on the internet. True, no radiation-related mutations were detected during the study of the Chernobyl zone. Mutations have always occurred in nature, and radiation is not the only reason for this. It is possible that only radioactive metals that got into the soil gave it additional fertilizer and led to good harvests. 5. The famous exclusion zone is a deserted place that is fenced with barbed wire. True, people live in Pripyat, and the Chernobyl nuclear power plant is functioning to this day. It employs employees and they live in the city itself. Some residents return to their homes without permission. There is a church, shops and a polyclinic in the city. Excursions to interesting places of Pripyat are held for tourists. 6. The sarcophagus that covers the nuclear reactor is gradually being destroyed, and there is a threat of an even more severe accident over the whole country. True, the reconstruction of the sarcophagus is actively underway, all fuel is stored in safe pools. If an accident does occur, it will not go beyond the exclusion zone in any way.